Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Shilpa, Fertility Specialist and Laparoscopic Surgeon from Bangalore. So today I will be discussing about ovulation tracking for natural pregnancy. So in the present uh, generation, as we are seeing more and more problems of fertility issues in couples, we as fertility specialists want to encourage more and more natural pregnancies. So to have natural pregnancies, it is very important to know your ovulation cycle, to understand your menstrual cycles, which can optimize the success of conceiving naturally. So ovulation is a process where the egg is released from the ovary and it will be in the fallopian tube. So the egg will be alive for 24 hours and during this time the, if the sperms are around in the uterine cavity and in the fallopian tube the success chance of conceiving will be maximum the sperms will be alive for 48 hours so timing is very crucial in conceiving naturally and when to have sexual intercourse to maximize the chances of pregnancy is also very important so coming to ovulation so the ovulation can be tracked by various methods. One is understanding your menstrual cycle, wherein the ovulation usually happens roughly about 14 days before your periods. So if your period cycle is 28 days, then the ovulation happens on 14th day. If it is 30 day cycle, then it happens on 16th day. So the next option is doing the basal body temperature. So roughly around the time of ovulation, the body temperature of the woman increases by one degree. And this is a very vague method of checking for the ovulation, which is not very practical. So the third thing is ovulation predictor kits, which are available in the market. So the ovulation predictor kits or OPKs as they are called, these are available over the counter, just like how the pregnancy kits are available. So here you have a kit wherein you place a few drops of urine and there will be a result which will appear as two lines and the ovulation will happen roughly 24 hours after the kit shows positive result and this can be done from day 8 every alternate days till you see the positive result see the other way of doing it is cervical mucus testing when the cervical mucus that is discharged from the vagina becomes thin becomes watery becomes more uh, liquidy that is when you can assume that the ovulation is going to happen so the last method is again follicular monitoring by ultrasound which may not be a very practical option for natural conception. So when you realize that the ovulation is happening by any one of these methods or combining all the above methods that is when the sexual intercourse need to happen and that is when the chances of pregnancy is maximum. So remember for natural conception you need to have a healthy lifestyle maybe have lot of like you know healthy uh, diet and exercise at least 15 to 20 minutes every day have a stress-free life have a good sleep and share a very positive rapport with your partner so being together during the ovulation time having sexual intercourse is utmost important to have a successful pregnancy by natural method remember each couple is unique and their journey towards parenthood is unique and you have to figure out what is comfortable and what is doable in your circumstance. So to wrap up, if there is any further queries, kindly comment on the comment box. I would be happy to answer it. And if you need to reach out to us, I will be available on this number where you can fix an appointment. So thank you very much. I will come back with more interesting videos to help you with conceiving more naturally. Thank you.